everyone. I am Ashraful, currently working as a software engineer at AppScode. In today's webinar, I will demonstrate the process of backup and restore MySQL using our recently announced product QStash, which is a Kubernetes native tool designed for backup and restoring production grade, grade database in our cl cloud environment. In any cloud environment. Okay. So this is the table of content. First, I will describe the kubestash uh, backup workflow. Next, we will proceed to the live demo of the backup process. And following that, I will explain the kubestash restore flow. And we will then move on the live demo of the restore process. And uh, finally, we have the QS session for you. So in this webinar, we will show how to perform uh, perform the backup and restore process of kubedb managed MySQL using kubestash in in my kind cluster. To achieve this, we will guide you through the installation of a MySQL instance using kubedb. For more information about kubedb, feel free to explore our website at kubedb.com. You can install kubedb using this Helm command. To get the license, you can visit kubedb.com and see our documentation. So let's jump into the kubestash backup flow. This workflow provides a comprehensive understanding of how kubestash manages the backup process for MySQL. If we have kubestash operator installed in our cluster, the backup process in initiates with uh, creations a backup storage this this is a custom resource definition and serve as a pointer to the backend where we intend to store our snapshot and the kubestash operator continuously monitor the Q, uh, backup storage following this we create a backup configuration which is another crd that encapsulates details about the target database backend reference session specifying the repositories of the backend where snapshot will be saved and information about the cron job associated with the session for each for each session a cron job is created and triggers a backup session at regular intervals uh, each cron job in turn generates a backup session and snapshot is created and uh, created for its repository specified in the session. The operator, the uh, kubestash operator resolves the, resolves the add-on which contains a specific task for, for the backup operator. Finally, the operator created a backup job executing MySQL specific logic for backup and updating the snapshot content. So, in conclusion of kubestash backup workflow, uh, the kubestash operator efficiently create a seamless uh, backup workflow and triggering cron jobs, backup sessions, and snapshot to ensure the integrity and availability of our MySQL data. Before going to backup uh, demo, we just uh, I wanna just uh, uh, explain the YAMLs of the CRD some CRDs. So at first, I want to exp uh, uh, I want to uh, just uh, say something about backup storage uh, CRDs. Here is the metadata. Here is the metadata and the name and namespace. And in the spec section, here is the uh, storage uh, storage uh, provider. We have select is S3 provider. Uh, user can uh, select whatever uh, user can want. And uh, here is the we have to mention the endpoint, bucket, region, prefix, prefix secrets uh, uh, that are needed for uh, for the storage provider. And the, we have uh, user uh, uses policy all uh, allowed name is uh, from all, and uh, that means that uh, uh, can user can uh, use this storage from any cluster, any class, uh, sorry, any name is uh, uh, among the among this uh, cluster, 
and uh, here the default is true that means that uh, if you use this backup storage in uh, in in in, in any ml and uh, he uh, user if you uh, doesn't uh, uh, mention the storage then in this case uh, the default storage will be uh, default default uh, storage will be used for it and uh, here is the deletion policy is way about and here is the another CRD is retention policy. Uh, in this case, we mentioned the successful snapshot is last tent and the max retention period is two months. Uh, two months, that means that if a user, uh, that means that the, our backend, uh, the, our backend will store the latest tent successful snapshots and uh, uh, after that, uh, it will uh, delete the previ previous uh, snapshots. So here is the users policy as well as the same, uh, same as uh, backup storage. Now uh, move on to the uh, terminal. At first we will uh, apply, uh, we will create our MySQL instance. So we will apply MySQL YAML. And we see that uh, MySQL, uh, MySQL instance is uh, created and the status is uh, provisioning. Uh, after a few moment, it uh, the status will be uh, ready. In in the meantime, we will also apply our backup storage. So we see that uh, the backup storage is created and the face is ready. That's mean. Uh, we can see that uh, our uh, we can see that our uh, backup storage is created. So, if we go uh, there and uh, we can see that the uh, backup storage is created, and here is the folder this webinar. And back to the terminal, oh, we want to apply another CRD retention policy. So we can uh, we can also created the retention policy. In the meantime, we also see that the, our MySQL uh, instance is uh, ready. Now I want to insert some data into our MySQL instance. Uh, I in this case I will use uh, kubedb CLI to insert some data. So here we will. Uh, insert 100 data to in our MySQL instance. Also, we can uh, verify it. So we can see that uh, here is uh, 100 uh, data is uh, present. Now back to the backup configuration YAML and, uh, and we will descri uh, describe about it. So here is our uh, YAML for backup configuration, and uh, this is the uh, this is the metadata, and uh, we start by specify specifying the uh, target and who is indicating the instance of MySQL for which we will be taking the backup, and and we then provide a backend reference, uh, then we uh, backend reference and when multiple backends can be uh, specified with is mentioning the name of the backend. Storage, uh, here is the storage reference uh, name and namespace and uh, uh, namespace of backup storage uh, created for a particular backend. And uh, here is the retention policy indicating how many snapshot will be kept in the backend and the session is uh, defined defined here is the session is defined and is uh, creating a cron job and with the information on the schedule successful job history limit uh, failed job history limits and backup limits and uh, here is the repo uh, repositories uh, contains information about the backend and the directory of the uh, backend where a snapshot will be stored Additionally, MySQL, uh, additional MySQL add-on uh, information for backup is provided, specifying the tasks to be accomplished during the backup. Now, now 
we will move on the terminal and we will perform the backup configuration after applying the backup configuration we see that uh, backup uh, we see that backup configuration is created but uh, uh, and we see that phase is ready and we see that a cron job is created and uh, it will uh, trigger uh, it will trigger uh, periodically so it will create a job and a backup session and a snapshot so we we have to wait uh, wait a minute wait a moment So it will uh, it will trigger to create a job. So we can see that uh, a job is created and the ECDB backup frequent backup and uh, also a backup session is created. Also a snapshot is created and uh, whenever whenever uh, the snapshot in in the succeed uh, phase. Uh, succeed phase uh, it, the job will be done. Also the backup session will be a succeed will be succeed. So we see that the snapshot is uh, in uh, phase in succeed and the backup session phase also succeed and uh, we see that the uh, the job is done. Now we can see in the backend uh, so we can check that whether this uh, snapshot is stored or not. So we can see that uh, in snapshot folder that uh, here the snapshot is uh, um, backup successfully. So our backup session is uh, done successfully. Now uh, move on to the uh, restore process. So here is our uh, the Kibista restore workflow. Now our aim to restore the uh, snapshot uh, that we are uh, ta uh, taking uh, um, uh, that we are uh, take backup uh, in our backend. So at first, uh, in uh, so for this, we at first we have to create a restore session that containing the data source, uh, including snapshot information and details of the database to be restored. Uh, it then resolves the then the QBS re, uh, resolves the add-on and uh, uh, resolves the add-on and uh, a restore job will be created ex executing the restore logic for MySQL a snapshot will be taken from the backend and put into the MySQL database. Before uh, before uh, go, uh, jump into the uh, restore demo, uh, restore demo, we want to just uh, we want to just uh, explain the we want to just explain the restore uh, uh, restore session or CRD. So here is the YAML and here is the metadata. And now uh, we now now uh, it is similar to the similar to the backup configuration YAML. So we provide the database uh, target data source uh, here and here is the data source and here uh, including a snapshot information repository uh, that uh, mention mentioning the directory where the snap, uh, snapshot will be stored and the add-on uh, details to be resolved and the add-on contains the tasks to be accompli accomplished for uh, restoring mysql now back to the terminal so uh, at first uh, we have to uh, pause our backup configuration because uh, uh, it will uh, take uh, take take backup frequently. So so for this reason, we just pause our pause our uh, uh, pause our backup configuration. Now uh, we want to restore our uh, uh, restore our data. For this reason, uh, I have to uh, delete our MySQL instance to remove the da uh, the the data for for from this uh, from this uh, cluster.
now i will create new mysql instance so we can see that uh, uh, we can uh, see that mysql instance is in uh, provisioning status and then after a few moments it will be in ready state then we will uh, apply our restore restore ml so we see that our mysql instance is ready uh, before applying the restore we, we want to just check whether the uh, there is any data or not so we see that there is no data zero uh, here is the zero data and now we want to apply restore ml so after applying the restore ML, we see that uh, a job is created, uh, MySQL restore, restore session also, as well as here is uh, here um, MySQL, uh, as well as here is the restore session is created and uh, the phase is succeed. That's mean the restore process is successfully done. Now we, uh, we want to check this or uh, check this. So if we check this and we see that, uh, uh, it contains the 100 keys. Uh, so uh, uh, as well as we, we will check by exec, exec, uh, execute. Then we will check. Now, uh, if we show the databases, we can see that here so we can see that here is the kubedb CLI database is present and uh, we want to oh, see the all the data that uh, it hold select all from kubedb database that's mean kubedb CLI and we will select the cube db table we can see that here is the uh, 100 data is a presence so that's it uh, is the restore process so so our restore uh, demo is uh, done and you have if you have any query you can ask me So I think there is no question. Uh, thanks for joining the webinar. I think this will be insightful for you.